Welcome to the demo video of Dashboard Ninja with AI. Dashboard Ninja is a powerful Odoo app that brings revolution in Odoo data readability. Dashboard Ninja helps us to create charts, dashboards and other items to represent our data. We can also generate dashboard and items on our Dashboard Ninja with the help of AI. Let's go through the insights of how we can create dashboard and charts using DM. Dashboard Ninja supports 17 different items. Now, let us see the working functionality of bar chart. We can create bar chart using three types of data, the Odoo data, Excel data or CSV data. For now, we are using our Odoo data. To select Odoo data, we have to select model and in model, let us give sales order. In measure value, we have to uh, give the value that we want to measure. Suppose if we want to measure total value and uh, grouped by customer, then we have to select customer in group by. Then this chart appears over here is a measure of total grouped by the customer. In measures, we can select any number of measured measurements that we want to see in our bar chart. Suppose if we want to see taxes also, then we can select text also by using line measurement we can see the untaxed amount or any other uh, field in bar chart with the help of line these are the other options uh, here we can choose the subgroup by if we want to subgroup this chart by any other field we can select here and if we want to sort this chart with the help of uh, other field we can uh, select here and if we want to limit the data we can select this option and it shows the uh, limited data in the bar chart now let's move on to its display tab in display tab we have the option available the first one is number system in english format this uh, measured value is uh, shown in English format and in Indian format it become in thousand and in exact value it shows like this with the help of color we can change the color of the chart and with the help of this stack bar chart option we can make this chart as a stack in actions we can uh, give any action to its chart so by clicking on that action it takes us on that particular action that we have given here in advanced configuration we can select these three options uh, first one is legend by enable it we have we can see the legends here and in records uh, suppose if uh, currently we uh, we can see the records over here if we uncheck this then uh, no records will be visible here and if we apply multiplier suppose if we uh, multiply total by 100 then the total is multiplied by 100 and rest of the values are same and in the item description we can give any description or we can explain our chart over here so that's the bar chart for us now let's move on to another uh, important item of Dashboard Ninja that is KPI. In KPI, users are not limited to measure their own value, but users can also compare their uh, measured value of two different models and they can also set their own target in KPI. So for now, uh, we select sales order as a model. So in record type, user can measure uh, the count, the sum uh, of the field or average of the field. Suppose if we want to sum of the uh, total field, then it comes over here. In uh, data two, if we want to compare the data of another model of, or of the same model of different field, we can select that model from here. In display, we can uh, change the uh, number format as same in the bar chart and we can also select our custom unit like now it comes as in dollar. We can also change the background color 
from here these are the predefined five background color and if we want to change the font color then uh, we can change that color from this option we can also change this icon appear over here from the custom or from click here and this change by, uh, icon appear over here we can also uh, set the action on this item and if we want to enable some target so uh, enable target and let's say we give target as 30,000 so you can see that our major value is 5% uh, low from our target that we set we can also uh, set see this target as a number or as a progress bar we can also send mail from this option by enabling this option so whenever uh, our target is achieved uh, user get the mail that the target is achieved in advanced configuration we can set the multiplier and then it multiplies the value that we have given in the multiplier so that's the kpi for us now let's move on to uh, some another chart that is map view so in map view user can see the value of the model based on the address or based on the customer location suppose if we want to see the on text amount based on customer address or location we can check select this customer here so it shows the value of the that customer if we save this and come here on our dashboard we can also see this map view uh, on globe if we check this option so we can see this value on the blog and if we uncheck this then it appears as a map now let's make another chart that is pie chart so from here we have to select pie chart option and the name of the chart and uh, the model we have to select from here and if suppose if we want to measure the tax and untaxed amount both and grouped by sales person then we can see that it shows the value of tax or uh, an untaxed amount of Mitchell admin and over here it shows the value of mark demo if we want to make it as a semicircle pie chart then we can enable this option and it comes as in semicircle pie chart uh, in display we can change the color of this chart and in actions if we apply some action like if we want to uh, see the untaxed amount as in bar chart then we set our action from here and if we click on that uh, item then it show us the untaxed amount as in bar chart in advanced configuration the same three options legion record and multiplier and in description if you give some description this is my chart for sales person and save this chart and comes in or here in dashboard then you can see the pie chart from here and you can also see the description from this button and if we click on suppose mark demo then it shows us the uh, bar chart and if we drill up then again the same pie chart now let's see some of the more uh, working functionalities of the buttons that dashboard ninja offers so on every item we can see different type of button and each button have different functionalities suppose if we uh, want to change the color of the item we can change that color from this option and if we want to uh, duplicate or move this item then we can duplicate this item from here and you can see that same item is duplicated over here and if we want to edit this item one more time then we can uh, do this from this quick customize pencil if we want to delete this item then 
we can delete this item from this option as you can see the item is deleted if we want to export or import this item in different formats then we can do this from these options we can also uh, we can also import this item to excel csv pdf as an image or as in json format and let's now see the working functionalities of these buttons uh, suppose if we want to increase or decrease the size of some item then we can do this from this edit layout button and if we increase the size of that chart then as you can see the the width height of this chart increases and if we want to export or import uh, this dashboard then we can do this from here we can export this dashboard from here and we can also import some another dashboard from here we can also duplicate the current dashboard also dashboard ninja supports the ai and we will look uh, into the functionality of ai with the dashboard ninja in some another video thank you if you have any query then please contact us on sales at the rate thank you